The Ministry of Defense has approved another list of 107 strategically important line replacement units and subsystems that will be procured only from Indian industry, and some of the items are for advanced light helicopter light combat helicopter and light utility helicopter, that includes electronic warfare suite, directional infrared countermeasure system, target acquisition and designated system, ground proximity warning system, emergency locator transmitter, night vision goggles and helmet mounted display system. The list also includes packaging of lithium ion battery modules and testing, along with battery monitoring system for submarines, electric propulsion motor for submarines, inertial measuring unit data link receiver and data link transmitter of the Astra missile, 30 mm close-in weapon system, naval guns of 100 mm and above, low frequency variable depth sonar system for ships. 7.62 mm PKT gun for T-90 tanks, and proximity fuse and guidance system for 155 mm smart ammunition. India has successfully test-fired the BrahMos extended range supersonic cruise missile from the Andaman and Nicobar, and the nuclear-capable missile hit its target with pinpoint accuracy. This test comes after the successful test of the BrahMos extended range missile from a frontline destroyer on 5th March. The private sector firm Economic Explosives Limited is developing a micro-missile based counter-drone system that is designed for targeting swarm UAVs. The radar based counter-drone system is based on a highly mobile vehicle for rapid deployment that has a detection range of 5 km, and consists of a micro-missile pod that contains 48 micro-missiles, that can effectively engage hostile drones at a range of 2 km. The company is also developing a second variant, that will be a shoulder-launched missile, that can target swarm drones at 600 meters range. US firm Lockheed Martin has offered its sonic slower body powered exoskeleton to the Indian Army, and the American firm is looking to tie up with Indian companies and the Indian Army to fine tune the system to meet Indian Army requirement. The Onyx weighs around 9 kilograms, including its battery, and features predictive artificial intelligence. The sensors located at the knees, hips, and feet collect data based on soldiers' movement and the artificial intelligence enables the device to predict the user's next movements and react accordingly in less than 150 milliseconds. India has issued multiple NOTAM warnings for a range of 120 km, on 24, 25, 27 March and 1st April, and it will be the first test of the indigenous Astra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missile from the indigenous Tejas Mark 1 fighter jet. Officials have said, that once the test firings from the Tejas are completed, Indian Air Force will place large-scale orders for the Astra Mark 1 missile. Officials have said, that the CATS Warrior Loyal Wingman project being developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has advanced since its unveiling at the Aero India 2021, and it is currently in wind tunnel testing, and the program is on schedule to conduct its first flight by 2024. The Sri Lankan Navy has signed an agreement with India's Goa Shipyard Limited, for the construction of a floating dock worth $20 million that will be delivered to Sri Lanka in the next 30 months as a grant from India, that will be used for maintenance and repairs of vessels. Sri Lankan Navy will save around 600 million rupees every year, that is spent on using private floating docks. While the HQ-9 air defense system operated by the Chinese Army has a range of 300 km, the export variant HQ-9P bought by Pakistan has a maximum range of only 125 km, and this was confirmed during a military parade of Pakistan Army yesterday. HQ-9P, there were reports that Turkey and Pakistan are collaborating on the development of the TFX 5th generation fighter jet, 
but now the representatives of Turkish aerospace industries have denied Pakistani involvement in the stealth fighter project, and the recently signed Memorandum of Understanding was for hiring Pakistani students for future projects including the TFX project. Indian Navy's Naval Air Station INS Parandu, which is in close proximity to the international maritime boundary line between India and Sri Lanka, has inducted two hal-built Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopters Mark III, that will be used for armed patrol and enhanced surveillance missions from both naval bases and onboard ships. Oh,